Hello everyone and welcome back to more mail. We are opening up more of the mail that we got from you guys. This time instead of doing a month, we're doing exactly what we did in the summer and we're combining three months into one. So this, this video is going to cover all of the mail that we received in September, October, and November and we're calling it fall mail, which is exciting. Also, I'm, I'm sitting back so you guys can see my shirt because I really, I really like this shirt. It's we're wearing green and gold. Go Packers! Oh, go losers, because oh, they lost. Anyway, um, let's get started, shall we? It's actually, even though we have three months worth of mail, um, there's not a, a super huge amount in these three months. December's just gigantic, so that's gonna be its own month, but we can combine these three. So, who is our first letter from? Our first letter's from Lake in Des Moines, Iowa. And Lake actually sends a, uh, a postcard, which she did uh, before. Dear Stephen and Mal, I love these postcards and felt like sharing the love. Mal can agree that they are accurate. Team Midwest. Uh, love your vids. Love Lake. And then you can see it actually says, Greetings from the Midwest. We welcome you with open arms unless you killed a puppy or something. In that case, you're on Southern Florida's list. Ouch. Shots fired. Our next letter is from Katie in Dolgville, New York. And Katie says, Dear Mr. and Mrs. Stephen George, it's all professional sounding, for freshman seminar, we are writing a letter to someone who inspires us or who we, ad who we admire. I have chosen you. Uh, someday I'd like to start a channel producing videos just like you do. I've always had an interest in film producing and editing. I also have an interest in game collecting, so it's helpful to watch your vlogs and pick up tips about collecting, pricing, and just gaming in general. Thank you for the advice you offer in your vlogs as they have helped me out a lot with my collection. And could you please share with me one key piece of advice that you feel has made you successful. Thank you for your time, Katie. Um, it, it's hard to come up with one key piece of advice, and um, I, I wrote down two, because I, but they also kind of work in tandem. Number one, be yourself. And that, that applies to every facet of your life, no matter what you're doing, whether that is um, your relationships with friends and family, or your romantic relationships, or your, your job. Relationships, I guess I can say relationships for everything, but um, no matter what you're doing in your life, just continue to be yourself and do, uh, you know, do you. You know, whatever it is that, that you are about, whatever it is that you feel convicted about or uh, excited about or whatever, don't change that for something else, whether it be a person or a company or whatever. Be yourself. And then the other thing is do what you love which I, I feel is, is incredibly important. And I know that it's not always an easy thing, and there are going to be times in your life where like that's not gonna be a possibility because of something, but always be working towards that as an ultimate goal. goal. Like if there's something in your life that you want to achieve or do, or you set a goal for yourself, like do that and, and work towards it and uh, make sure that you're always doing that. How do you feel about that? I agree. Is there is there a piece of advice that you would that you feel that has made you successful that you would add? Perseverance. Perseverance. That's a good one. That is, because, it, and that's true, because the road's not always gonna be easy, but. No, it's not. <laughs> you know that very well. Uh, the road's not always gonna be easy, but you you, get, you gotta keep at it, because eventually um, it'll, it'll be worth it in the end. Our next letter is from Blake in Bemidji, Minnesota which I assume that's the, the correct pronunciation. Dear Stephen Mao, and also this is a really cool letter. I don't know why I clarified, but I won't clarify. Exemplary letter. I have been a huge fan of yours for a while. I remember listening to the finale of Fobbies Are Borns and Lloyd's in my freshman dorm, then Nintend Speaks, your Let's Play channel, and finally your vlog. I'm writing the letter specifically because I have a story about my summer that I would like to share. In December 2013, I graduated my degree in mathematics education, which means I was looking to become a math teacher for grades 5 through 12. Uh, I spent the next couple of months subbing, putting some finishing touches on my resume, and applying for jobs. Once the summer started, I started getting interviews all over the state of Minnesota. Some of the drives were about five hours round trip, so I started to listen to some books on tape. When I finished those, I, I thought that, you know, I haven't listened to Five Years of Orange in a long time, so I did. Uh, I kept going to interview after interview, getting rejection after rejection. By this time, it was late July. I was on the last season of Fobbies Are Borns, and the upcoming trip would definitely finish it off. I went to the interview, gave it my best, and listened to the finale on the way home. I don't know if you've listened to much of Fobbies Are Borns in recent years, but the finale is fantastic. But 
I was worried now. It was late July, I still haven't found a job, and now I had nothing to listen to. Fortunately, I didn't have to worry for long. I got that job. I like to think that the end of Fabi's of Orange lined up with the end of my job hunt. Uh, I've just finished my first ever week of school. It's been challenging, but I'm happy doing. I'm happy to be doing what I love. Thank you, Stephen, for continuing to do your vlogs and Let's Plays. They are a great way to unwind when I come home from teaching. Good luck to you on your future endeavors. When's Eco coming out? And good luck, Mal, on the new year of teaching. Signed, Blake. Blake. Thank you so much for the leather. That was uh, that was really fantastic was nice. and, and really, really cool. And Eco is coming out when it is ready. Our next letter is from Ryan in Parker, Colorado. Ryan says, Dear Stephen Mao, thank you for the vlogs. I'm currently going through the journey and I'm right now watching February 2011. I will say that I am excited and at the same time not looking forward to you finishing college because I won't be seeing your roommates every day. But I am very much looking forward to seeing your and Mal's life from this point on. I'm going to include something pretty vlog nostalgic with this leather and hopefully it'll provide you with a couple of chuckles. Before I ramble on, I would like to say thank you for allowing us into your lives. With love, Ryan. Ryan includes <laughs> a Denny Walling card. If you, if you ever want to know if someone's been taking the journey, all you have to, all you have to ask is, did they send a Denny Walling card? Because that is a, a surefire tale that they have indeed been watching old videos. Ryan. You are awesome, and your leather was awesome. Thank you so much. Our next letter is from Adam in Enfield, Connecticut. Dear Stephen, uh, because this is my first leather, congrats on the marriage. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, also, I'm playing Earthbound for the first time. I'm in the best part searching for that sword. I don't know if I'd call that the best part, maybe the most aggravating part, but if you're enjoying it, that's good. Um, I do have a question. Do you have any tips for those explodey guys in Earthbound? From Adam. Uh, yeah, there's quite a few enemies that self-destruct in Earthbound. Trees. Trees. Self-destruct's a weird phrase for the trees, but they do explode, and then later on the uh, self-replenishing robots. Um, run away. Run away. Just run away. Really? It, yeah. Yeah, that's what I would do. I mean, if you have to face them, if you absolutely have to face them, I know there's a period right at the end of the game where you're fighting them and, like, ghosts of Starmen, which are scary as crap, kill the ghost um, and then run away. Or if you really want the experience, kill everything but the thing, Explody thing. and kill that last. And you want to make sure you kill that last. If you kill that first, you're going to be in a world of hurt. Our next letter is from Mimi in San Francisco, California. Mimi has a very interesting letter because she actually, like when I started reading it, I thought that it was a fan fiction. And it's not a fan fiction, it's actually just a really interesting way to write a letter because she's writing it kind of like a fan fiction, but from the perspective of now. So let me just read at the beginning and you'll understand. So, it was a cold but clear night in October when Stephen and Mao were sitting on the couch wait, wanting to record something. They didn't know what to record as they were fully caught up with the vlogs and LPs at the time, but it felt to them, <laughs> you're laughing, as though they were missing something. The two sat in silence for a good 10 minutes before Sagan broke the silence with a meow. A meow? That kind of sounds like mail. We need to record mail, Stephen, Mao said. You're right, Mao. We can't let ourselves fall behind the way we were back in July and August with our three trips. So on that night, Stephen and Mao began to record the September Stephen Mail video. Now, parts of this, I know you can't see it, but like parts of the leather are in um, red. And at the end of the leather, it said, uh, hopefully I got the stuff in red uh, correct. So, you know, is it cold? Is it a clear night? Is it October? It's nearly February, but you know, so things it is happen. Cold. It is cold. Anyway, so. It basically eventually gets to the part where we read this leather, and the leather is inside the leather. Thanks, Exhibit. Uh, Mario Kart 8 released a few days after school was out. I would have nothing to do over the summer, so I decided to buy it for my Wii U. But I thought to myself, it would be such a waste if all I did for three months was play Mario Kart. Why not take a stab at learning something new? So, that's what I did. Coincidentally, a friend had uh, an extra capture card that they didn't want and was willing to give it to me for free. So, for most of June, uh, I learned the basics of recording and editing video while enjoying my time playing Mario Kart 8. Early in July, I went to Las Vegas with my family. When I came back, a friend of mine texted me a YouTube link. Um, the man in the video said, I got an Elgato. I've been giving advice to get these forever, but I've never actually owned one. Yeah, it's just a guy buying an Elgato for capturing video on his trip. So what? I texted back. Watch the next few days videos, she replied, and so I did. I couldn't believe what I was seeing. Not only did this man buy an Elgato just like me, but he was also in Vegas just three days before I arrived. <laughs> So then, that's like her letter, and then it shifts back into the perspective of me and you talking to each other, and um, it, it, it's funny because it's I'm I, in the in the in her letter of a letter. I'm saying if we never scheduled our road trip on the days that we did, 
uh, that person who wrote the letter would have never become hooked on the vlog channel. So it is important in the future that I use my psychic powers <laughs> to, to let people know that they should... I don't know, it gets a little convoluted and very hard for me to understand. But I have psychic powers and I didn't even know, so I'm excited about that. Um, anyway, Mimi, thank you very much for the letter. Also, it says, P.S. I'm still quite new, but um, there are some Mario Kart 8 videos on, on my channel, so you can check out Mimi's channel. And then, P.P.S. On a scale of one to seven angels, one being not at all and seven being always, how often do people put their last names on their letters? I just find it courteous to put my last name at the end of letters. Um, 50? Probably about 50%. Yeah. We generally don't read them. I, I think, actually, probably in the last two years, we haven't read them at all. And it's just for a privacy thing. I mean, some people read... Uh, list them, but I, th I think almost never we read them now. Mm -hmm. Early on, if, if someone wrote it, we would read it, but I don't think we do that anymore. Anyway, uh, Mimi also sent um, Breloom and Breloom holographic version. Can you guys tell which one's holographic on video? You probably can, because it's shiny. Ooh, shiny. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, anyway, thank you so much for the letter. Our next letter is from Andrew in Shannon, Mississippi. Dear Stephen Amell, I want to start this letter off by saying that I really love your channels. Over time, you've become my favorite YouTuber. Uh, you are very organized and professional with your work, which is highly uncommon with most YouTubers. You are indeed skilled, but that is not the point of this letter. I wanted to thank you for Earthbound. Uh, I learned about the game through Smash Brothers, but didn't have much interest until I found out it was your favorite game. I thought, hey, this guy likes good games, so maybe I should give Earthbound a go. So I downloaded the game from the Virtual Console, and it was phenomenal. I absolutely loved it from start to finish. Thank you, Steven. I could not, I could rant on uh, about how good the game is, but I think you already know that. So my question to you is, what are some of your other favorite games of all time? So, I tried to come up with a little list of games that I really, really, really love. So, Donkey Kong Country Trilogy. Huge fan of platformers. Grew up with the Donkey Kong Country series. Absolutely love 1 through 3. We just finished playing Returns. I love Returns. You love Returns even more than the original 3. And apparently Tropical Freeze is really good. Um, Half-Life 2. One of the best games ever made. There's a reason it won a bajillion awards. Valve has continued to update it over the years to keep it fresh and it still holds up. I, I played through it not all that long ago, maybe a year or two ago. I played through a lot of it, and uh, it still holds up. It's amazing. It may be the best first-person shooter ever made. Uh, Mother 3. If you've finished Earthbound, you have to play Mother 3. You just, you have to. I mean, if you if you loved Earthbound, it's not identical, but it has so, it's so similar that you will probably love and appreciate it. You may love one more than the other, but you'll probably enjoy both of them together as a whole. Um, Super Mario RPG is a really fun RPG that I, I loved as a kid. I have never done an LP of it, but I made one day. Uh, the Time Splitter series, super fun. Um, comedy and FPS combined, good recommendation. The Worm series, good strategy game. Um, Katamari Damacy, which most people have played at this point, but it, it, it's just such a weird, unique game with uh, fantastic music. And then also Second Sight, which is something I don't recommend very often, but is from the creators of the Time Splitter series, one day I may get around to doing an LP of that so more people can understand why I love that game so much because it's a really underrated, not well-known game. Anyway, P.S. I was very excited to hear that you would be getting Majora's Mask 3D. Majora's Mask is my favorite game of all time and I hope you enjoy my favorite game as much as I enjoyed yours. P.S.S. You are a boss at reading notes on Amnesia. <laughs> Thank you, I appreciate that. Uh, from Andrew. Andrew, thank you so much for the great letter. Our next letter is from Nintendude in Foster City, California. Hi, Steven. Uh, I am Nintendude. I watch your vlogs all the time. It's, it was in caps. And I heard that you made the icon for Chugga Conroy. Honestly, I think you're really funny and cool, and after seeing the amazing uh, way Chugga's picture slash icon turned out, I was wondering if you could make one for me, since my Photoshop skills are not too good. Thanks, Nintendude. Um, first off, thank you for the letter. Uh, we do not have time to make icons for everybody. In fact, we barely have time to make one for Emil. Um, it's actually a very, very lengthy process. I know it's it's very uh, easy to look at you know, a final product and say, oh, okay, it seems simple enough, there's C's or whatever. Um, Mao actually did an incredibly awesome write-up on Tumblr. If I remember, I'll try to post it below, or if you guys remember, you can post it in the comments, where it goes into detail um, all of the steps necessary to make that logo. It was months. <laughs> it was it was like 
months and months and months and months and ended up being uh, well over 100 hours or more of, of effort to go into creating something like that. So it's actually a very, very difficult process, which is why we cannot do that for everyone. But thank you for understanding. Our next letter is from Patrick in Floyd Knobs, Indiana. Patrick says, hello, Stephen Amell. This is Patrick. YouTube name is Scolopendra. I was there for the Extra Life stream. I really enjoyed it, especially Super Metroid and Earthbound. Anyway, I said in my donation message that I would send in snail mail and tell you how, how much you have helped me. I was born with a rare genetic condition called Charge Syndrome. I'm visually disabled, deaf in one ear, and was born with a cleft lip and palate. As a result, I have serious body image problems. In 2011, circumstances forced me to drop out of college at the end of freshman year. Uh, I do want to return someday, but I don't know if I will be able to or not. I suffer from anxiety and clinical depression when this, and was diagnosed when I was only nine. That depression has gotten worse since 2011. Uh, unfortunately, I have attempted to take my life several times. But now, I can get to the happy part. Uh, Near the end of 2011, I discovered Let's Players. First it was Emil, then in 2012 I started watching your videos and Tim and Reese, uh, Lukagen. In 2013, I befriended Tim and four others. These friendships and your videos have helped make the depression stink far less. Your vlogs in particular have helped immensely. I can live vicariously through your videos, so thank you so much for sharing your life with us. Love and peace! Try again. Uh, Patrick. Patrick. Thank you so much for, for taking the time to write. Um, these sorts of letters mean so, so much. The absolute world to, to Mal and myself. And um, I just really appreciate you taking the time to, to write to us. And I hope that, you know, in some small way, we have made, you know, even, even the smallest difference in your life. Our next letter comes from Catherine in North Bay, Ontario. Catherine says, Dear Stephen Amell, I know it's been quite a while since the last time I sent anything. It's hard to believe I've been watching you guys for two years now. This time, I thought I'd make something. The blue and green one is for Mal, and the yellow and purple one is yours. Keep in mind, I made sure that they were safe for Mal. Enjoy the bracelets, Catherine. So, she made these really cool um, silicon... They're silly bands. Bracelets. Silly Is silly band like the name for called. them? Maybe I'm thinking of those ones that were shape ones. Yeah, I think that was the... Man, I, I forgot that those things even existed. These are, um, loom. Like, you weave them with a thing or... Go, go, Power Rangers! Do, 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 do. We're missing three people, but then we could have Captain Planet! Power Rangers, Captain... I just melted two shows together. <laughs> <You> did. <laughs> I'm so confused about everything, and my child... And regardless, Catherine, thank you so much for helping us get one step closer to forming Captain Power Rangers. Power Ranger Planet. All right, our first package is from Princeton, New Jersey. Okay, reach in there and find what's in Another it. package. Exhibit is back with a vengeance. There is a game. Hmm. There's a letter inside. Oh, snap. It's uh, the Jack and Daxter remastered HD collection. Very, very cool. And the game is in here, the instruction manual is in here, and there is a letter as well. Hey, Stephen to Mal. Mal being the cooler one, it actually specifies that. Holy balls, it's amazing you started a gaming channel way back when. I found your channel starting with Uncharted and I've stuck around forever since. Uh, forever, ever, actually. Forever, ever since. You are also my inspiration to begin a YouTube channel and to show my appreciation. I sent you my childhood video game for you to hopefully do an LP on, Jack and Daxter, made by Naughty Dog, so it's already amazing, and I know that everyone will enjoy uh, an LP on this. And thank you so much for reading uh, your fan, uh, Abhik. Did I pronounce that right? I think, I think so. so. I think it's Abhik. Well, Abhik, thank you so much for the leather, and uh, thank you so much for the Jack and Daxter collection. I've heard fantastic things um, about all of these games, and uh, I mean, just like you said, it's it's Naughty Dog. I already know it's good, but I, I unfortunately haven't had a chance to uh, to play it. But thank you so much for sending it in. Our next package comes from Boise, Idaho. And who did the person from Boise send thing in? Who did they send? <laughs> <laughs> the the thing in Boise, who did they send to us? They sent you some papers. <laughs> Presumably a letter. So there is a there's a letter here. Very, very cool. And drink mixes? Drink mixes. Okay. 
Steven, my son is a big fan of yours. He's only 11, but his plans to create a video vlog himself, and he seriously talks about you like you are his neighbor and his friend. He's been coaching me as to how I should approach you as well. He told me about some of your health issues, weight gain, lack of energy, and IBS, and suggested that I send you some info and samples of a product that I've been marketing that would help you with these issues. Uh, the products are natural and come from a company called Plexus. And then there's a bunch of reading material on said product, and it's a, from what I understand, a drink mix and it helps with these sort of things. So uh, this is coming from um, Christy. So Christy, uh, thank you so much. And uh, let your son know that I said thank you as well. Our next package comes from Hamilton, New Jersey. Which is also extremely fun to say. Hamilton. 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 Have a letter. Doesn't have quite the same ring to it. Dear Stephen Amell, I hope you both are doing well. We are, thanks for asking. Uh, I have sent you two N64 games that as of November 28th, you don't have unless someone sent you them in the mail, in which case, have another. What are they? You oh, can't know. Oh, I don't get to know? Okay. <laughs> Lego Ra I see Lego Racers. You can know, it's Lego Racers and Bomberman 64. The second attack? Yeah. That's... Awesome. Holy crap. Thank you. Sorry, you don't understand. I've never seen a physical copy of this game in my life. Ever. <laughs> totally blown away. Yeah, like, like, I've never seen this game before. I've been looking for this game. We have a, a bit of a policy where we're, we don't buy games online. We try to get them in stores and stuff. I've never seen this game before. And I've been looking. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna continue reading the letter. Thank you. All right, a little about me. On YouTube, I am Telefikens, and although I don't comment much, I love yours and Mal's Let's Plays. I first learned about you through the Runaway Guys Melee Tournament, and I was instantly intrigued by a husband and wife Let's Playing team. Um, I went to your channel and watched all of your memorable moments, and well, I was hooked. This envelope is postmarked from New Jersey, but I currently am in Houston in graduate school. Uh, your videos helped me to de-stress, and I thank you for consistently putting out great content from Elizabeth. P.S. I have two kitties, uh, well, a cat and a kitty, named Nikita and Chloe, and they are the greatest. Thank you so much. Holy crap. Like... I know that maybe you didn't expect that response from me, but like, I, I it's it's a big deal because like I've never seen this game before, like I've just never seen it. I appreciate. Thank you so much for sending in both, certainly, but like, um, I I don't have this game obviously because I've never seen it ever. You're very excited. I am excited. I am very excited. Like, trust me. Had I ever seen this game, I would have got it because I've I've been looking for it. But uh, apparently, I don't know what it was. I guess they just didn't make very many of them. But um, I, I've never been able to find it. So thank you so, so much. Our next letter is from Trace in Scott City, Missouri. And there's a pull tab. And Mouse really excited about this because normally she has like scissors, scissors and is cutting exactly stuff. Knives. Yeah. She's like cutting fingers off. And they're like flying everywhere. That doesn't happen. That's never happened, I promise. She has all of her fingers. Inside, by the way, was a little gift box. And if we take off the gift box. Oh! They're cute. We have tiny, tiny little Mr. Saturns. Very tiny, very hard to see. And there's another one here, and I think his... His bow is by he, your thumb. He lost his bow, but his bow is in the box, so we can we can solve that. It actually looks kind of interesting without the bow. With with Without the bow, so it makes Mr. Saturn, like it makes that Mr. Saturn look like a like a male variant, and then it makes the Mr. Saturns with the bow look like a female, as opposed to them just all being gender gender neutral. And there's also a letter. Dear Stephen Amell, hi, it's Trace again. I am now 16 years old. Uh, I decided to make you guys these little Mr. Saturns. Um, they are not quite as good as the Mr. Saturns that Masay made for you, but I hope that you still like them. Speaking of Mr. Saturn, I just got into Earthbound, and it is a really fun game. I saved up my money and got it at a place called um, Bodax Games for $150. I will be getting Mother 3 for the Game Boy Advance soon. Thank you for suggesting it, Steven. Before I end this letter, I have some questions for you guys. What do you think of the roster for Super Smash Brothers? Okay, we are behind on letters a little bit. Well, obviously, we are a pretty big fan of the Smash Brothers roster. We've been playing it uh, over on Steven Place, and it's been out a while now, unfortunately. You've done a fantastic job with the Mr. Saturn. So, Trace, thank you so much for sending these in. Our next package comes from Lauren in Manchester, New Hampshire. And I actually know what this is. You can you can pull it out. I know that it is a copy of Diablo for the PlayStation 1. I was right! Uh, Lauren has been a longtime viewer, and actually, uh, I am 
his his username for YouTube is completely slipping my mind, but I've actually been friends with him on Facebook for some time. He's a long time viewer, and he actually messaged me apparently back in in September asking if I would be interested in having Diablo for the PlayStation. And I was like, yeah, uh, actually it's, it's a very hard game to get a hold of, and I thought it would make a really interesting first 20. And uh, Diablo is a, is a game that's been around for a long time, and uh, it's it's a it's a game by Blizzard. Blizzard, m most well known for you know I guess World of Warcraft at this point, but they also did Diablo. They've done Diablo 2 and Diablo 3 since, and uh, this was a big deal because it allowed you to play two players, two players together. It's just a fun dungeon crawler. I thought me and you could go through it together. Sounds like fun. So we will do this as a first 20. I was also kind of interested in, in what this first 20 is going to do is we're going to use it to find out if there would be any interest in covering Diablo 3 on the channel. Because I was really intrigued by Diablo 3. I've never played any Diablo games, but I figured that maybe doing a first 20 of a retro title, I can't believe I'm calling a PlayStation game retro, but it's almost 10 years old, um, 20 years old, God! <laughs> suddenly feel very old. Ah. <laughs> anyway, I thought that that would be a good a good uh, transition. So Lauren, thank you so much for sending this in. Um, I actually still remember the day that you had contacted me and asked me. I, I was walking through a Walmart at the time. I just thought that that was like two months ago, not September. So, man, I was a little late. Anyway, thank you so much again. All right, our first box comes from Morgan in Fairhope, Alabama. All right, and what is in said box? Stuff. That belongs in a box, I guess. What? I just caught Mewtwo! And I don't know what this Pokeball is! That is awesome! These are so freaking cool! I actually don't. I actually don't know what the S is. I'm not that familiar with Pokemon Balls. There's a lot of them. There's a lot of them because we recently were playing X and Y and I go into my inventory and it's like netball, luxury ball, fastball, or quick ball or something. And I'm like, what are all of these things? I don't remember. I just know Pokeball and Great Ball and Ultra Ball and Master Ball. Those are the ones I remember well. Okay. Sorry, anyway. This thing said open first four letter. So I'm okay. open that. It's and very... It's an envelope and an envelope and an envelope. Oh man, somewhere exhibit is smiling like you wouldn't believe this. This was his video. It's like the uh, Russian dolls of envelopes. Do 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 do. Okay, it it doesn't end. This is the envelope that doesn't end. It just goes on and on, my friends. Oh yes, we started opening. Okay, this one has a one on it. Was. I'll open the two. Okay. And they're tiny, t they had to be tiny, tiny, tiny little things to fit in all that stuff. All right, let's see here. <clears throat> Hi, Mal and Steven. Uh, right now, I am watching the Extra Life 2014 live stream. I knew that Skyrim has been over for a while, but Argyle is not dead, so he made a little leather for you. I also made a picture of Jitters and Greg's baby. <laughs> Along with the leather and the baby picture, I also made some crafts for you. So is that a picture of Jitters and Greg's baby? Wow. <laughs> Man, Pokemon, like, why won't Nintendo let us do that? Do some crossbreeding between completely different species and wind up with completely new Pokemon. Anyway, um, I also made some crafts for you. Have you tried uh, fish food from Ben and Jerry's? No, I have not. I have. Have you? Yeah. Is it good? I forget what's in it, though, but it's P-H-I-S-H. Like the band fish. Oh, okay. Yeah, the cover band. Isn't that, aren't, aren't they just exclusively a cover band? I think so. Uh -huh. uh, on the last game of Extra Life, uh, were you on drugs? <laughs> no, I was just very tired. Your face when you got the X Buster upgrade thing was priceless. I was so mad and sad when you went uh, by my house. Um, from Morgan or Monkey Bob 11 on Twitter. Well, thank you, Monkey Bob. This is a cootie catcher. Oh. Pick a color. Blue. B-L-U-E. Pick a number. Two. One, two. Pick another number. Three. Okay. Baby socks belong in the cart. They do. <laughs> Are these quotes from the vlog? The community hamburger is with you. <laughs> They're all they're all references to the vlog. 
Let me see. Um, my sword evaporated, and then also by two cups of butter. So that's a reference when Dan had, was here for Pathfinder, his sword evaporated. And then two cups of butter is when I was killing myself. Uh, Bahama Cruise, um, Floating City, Chugga Will Always Be a Rhombus. These are just all references to the vlog. It's really funny. And, and then there was this. And there was this. Oh, it is a, it's a message from Argyle. Hello, Stephen. It's your old friend, Argyle. Why did you leave me? I thought we were best buds. Why did you make me do bad things to my kids? <laughs> I was awesome at one time, but then you left me. I did not know what to do, so I, so all I did was sit. When you get on Steam, I think you're going to need to come and see me from Argyle. <laughs> Thank you, Argyle. It's kind of sad, man. Skyrim was fun, but it was long, and people become very attached to something that is so lengthy, like it's hundreds of hours or something. And uh, I can certainly understand at the end of that adventure, people would certainly want more, but there's nothing left to do. Besides me starting to make my own stories, like one day Argyle returns and he comes out of a cave, and then we have to start making up our own adventures. Maybe. Stop coming up with ideas. Yeah, maybe another time. <laughs> Um, anyway, uh, Morgan, thank you so much for uh, for sending these things, especially especially the master ball. Someone's gonna have to tell me what this is. I unfortunately. Speed ball. I think that's a thing. Maybe. Yeah, isn't it the one you throw out like at the beginning? And I think it has that's a called a chance? quick ball. But I don't know. Maybe. I'm not sure. I'm sure you guys can answer it for us. Be careful, like Mal. You are not <laughs> practicing safe cutting techniques. That was really frightening. Do I look frightened? <laughs> yes. I f I'm very scared. Anyway, this is from uh, North Arlington, New Jersey. This is our last one. This is yes. This is our last package for the uh, for the video. So let's open this up and find out what is Here's inside. A yes. Have a letter. I will have a letter. That sounds fantastic. And the letter says. Uh, hello, Stephen, Mao, and the kitties. Here is Mega Man 1, 4, and 5. Wow. As I seen that you were missing them, so now you have all six for the NES. That is amazing. Thank you so much. That's awesome. It's actually weird because we were just in Wilmington. We went to a game store, and they had, um, they had a Mega Man in there. They had Mega Man 6, which is one that we already have. And I was thinking, man, I'd really like to get the Mega Mans at some point. Sorry. That was just like two days ago, so that's why I thought of it. Anyway. I was a major fan of the series years ago, and I feel your collection should be complete. I've seen that you only owned the first Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles for the NES, so now you have two and three as well. Wow, okay. Um, I found some other stuff you do not have and tossed it in the box too. As for the Atari 2600 cart, that was my introduction to video games so very many years ago. As a preteen walking through Kmart, seeing it on display and playing the system set up in the store, I begged my parents to get it for me, which the following Christmas they did. Anyway, I sent it to you for the heck of it. Do what you wish with it, as I am sure you have no way to play it for now. Now it to the wall or use it as a coaster. I cannot help you with completing your N64 collection, as me and the wife still play that. We have nothing you do not have already anyway. I've rambled long enough, so in closing, hope you get some enjoyment from this package and keep up the good work in entertaining people. From Thomas and Ruthann. P.S. A little FYI. Watching you and Mouse Minecraft videos inspired me to start playing and I thank you and curse you for that. Thank you as it is a fun game. Curse you as I will create for hours and not go to sleep sometimes. Even though Minecraft is over four years old at this point, I only discovered it within the last six months. Well that is awesome because Minecraft is, as you said, uh, an incredibly fun game that you can uh, spend... I mean really? infinite amount of time on as long as you always have a project in your head to be working on like you could play the game forever which is which is awesome anyway um first off thank you i have no idea exactly what's in this box but i have now a general idea and you are incredibly generous and i thank you so much like i said uh when we were in wilmington the other day i was thinking about that i was like man you know i really do want to get the Mega Man at some point so those are in there at least um let's Take a look and see what exactly. Have that. Okay, so there's a lot of packing material. Kid Icarus, very very cool. Kid Icarus is in here, classic. Um, Freedom Force, the ultimate zapper gun game. All right, the original Mega Man, which has um, probably some of the most incredible box art of all time. I mean, seriously, it's 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 actually quite frightening. Uh, Turtles Three, the Manhattan Project. 
So we got some really classic stuff here. Mega Man 4. Uh, Turtles 2, the arcade game. Cowabunga! Let's get shell. All right. Mega Man 5. And, oh boy. To the Earth. Outer space action and you're in command. That's the tagline on the on the game. Here. So a lot of lot of NES stuff. Here. Very, very, very cool. Here. Okay, well, so much stuff. And then there's actually a little box inside the big box. And now we're making a lot of noise to so Sagan has come to investigate, like, what's happening here? I haven't I can't keep up. Uh, asteroids for the Atari. Very, very cool. And Castlevania Adventure for the original Game Boy. An oldie but goodie. Excellent. Um, this is a Game Boy Advance game. Oh, it's uh, it's two games in one. It's the original Gauntlet and the original Rampart. They're both uh, arcade classics. Very, very cool. Oh, man. No way. Uh, Crash Bandicoot. Original uh, Crash Bandicoot and the original... and uh, Not the original, but uh, Spyro Ripter's Rage. I'm not sure which one that is. Is that... The I think it's the second one so because there's a big side. two... Okay, so it's the second one. I wasn't... I'm not familiar with the Spyro series. Um, this is a game I've wanted to do a first 20 of forever. And believe it or not, this has been very hard to find. <laughs> Don't know why. But we've recently taken uh, a look for it and we could not find Crash Bandicoot. And uh, Player's Choice just hasn't gotten a copy. And then also... Um, also, the Crash Bandicoot Collector's Edition, which has actually got three different Crash games in it. Uh, Team Racing, Crash Bash, and then Crash Bandicoot Warped, which I think is the third game? I think? Pretty sure. So very, very, very cool. That is, that is amazing. Thank you so much. Um, that, that is just so, so generous. And um, I'm so happy to have, uh, you know, finally the entire Mega Man collection, um, at least for the NES. There's still still other ones to get um, on other consoles. You want me to hold them up? Yeah, if you want to. <laughs> One, five, and four, just in the right order. That is awesome. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate that. Uh, the other one I have, there's still, there's still some Mega Man games to get. Um, I think, actually, the only ones that we are missing from like NES and Super NES, which I guess I would call retro, would be, um, we don't, we're not missing any on NES now, we're just missing X3, which is crazy, crazy hard to find in the first place, and 7. Mega Man 7 is hard to find, um, hard to find, doesn't, don't, uh, see it too often. Um, but yeah, that is, uh, that is awesome. Thank you so much. There's a lot of good classics here as well. Uh, I actually, I don't think I've played Turtles 2 and 3 though. Maybe I have. I'm not sure. Well, no. Turtles 2 the arcade game. I've played one of the ones in the arcade, but I think the first Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles for NES is also an arcade game. Or maybe it's two. I don't know. I don't know. There's a few. There's a few Turtles um, arcade games though. So yeah, there's. This was this was very very nice, and I really do appreciate it. And uh, you guys can almost definitely expect to see a first twenty of the original Crash Bandicoot coming um, at some point in the future. So uh, Thomas and Ruthann, um, thank you so much for extending uh, your collection to be a part of ours. We really do appreciate that. Uh, for everyone that sent something in this month, these months. Thank you. Um, this was this was another really incredible mail video. We just finished up opening all the stuff for summer. Now we've got all the stuff open for fall, um, and it was just you know really really incredible. You guys are as always overly generous. You have amazing leathers, and uh, we are looking forward to doing December's. December's. That's and that's the last one. Holy cow! Wow, and we've caught up. Yeah. We, we it, it's been really hard. It's been really difficult to to get everything done because not only it's not as simple as sitting down and recording mail because there's a lot of prep work that goes into mail, but also getting vlogs and LPs caught up enough to the point where you feel like you can actually do that. You've done good. Thank you. Thank you for the help. You're welcome. Because there's no way I could have done any of this without you. It's been it's been a rough couple of months, but we've gotten there, and it feels really good to finally be caught up. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're watching right now and you'd like to send something in, you can go over to the about page of Steven Vlog and there will be an address there and you can uh, you can send something to that address and we will get it. 
and uh, mail will be coming soon. We do have to do December's next. That is a huge video. Huge. You guys sent a ton of stuff in December, so I don't know when that's going to be coming, but fingers crossed before January ends. That's what I'm hoping for. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you guys next time for another Stephen Mail video.